Hey, what's up everybody? This is your boy David from the Free Play Mode, and I'm coming at you with episode number 5, lesson number 5, on how to play Fire Pro Wrestling World for the PlayStation 4 console and PC. As you can see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen here, I do have an Xbox One controller set up, but the controls are universal, so you can easily transpose the Xbox One commands, PC commands, to the PlayStation 4 controller if you are using a PlayStation 4 console or a PlayStation 4 controller on the PC. Now, in this lesson, we will learn about off the rope moves and we're going to delve into quite a bit of information, so please pay attention. The first type of moves we're going to talk about, and as it relates to rope moves, is uh, with you running off the ropes and coming towards your opponent and we'll go into the move list here for this demonstration I am using ricochet and you can see in the move list here he does have access to three running moves and those are the hooking lariat head scissor whip and superman punch now every move that is running has a different timing and there are two types of running moves it can either be a striking type of maneuver or a grappling type of maneuver. Striking type of maneuvers are usually your clotheslines, your kicks, your leg lariats, things of that nature. Your grappling moves while running are typically typically your head scissor type moves, your anything that you grab your opponent with. So unlike the grappling and striking, X, A, and B are not specified strength when it comes to these moves it's just whatever moves are assigned to those buttons so and one other caveat is that the timing for all of these moves are different as is the spacing you have to take it on a move by move basis to get the timing and spacing right for these maneuvers so experimentation and practice is necessary so I'm gonna show you how to do running maneuvers with the character first thing you'll want to do is press Y in a direction to initiate your character running toward the opponent and then depending on the move and the timing of the move you'll want to hit your attack button so we're gonna start off with the X which is the hooking lariat for ricochet and notice you can do these while your opponent is standing still or if you swing them to the ropes yourself. The next we're going to do is running while pressing A and that's the head scissors. And as you saw there it requires a very specific timing and a very specific spacing. And finally we're going to do the running while B which is his superman punch. And if you another thing is if you don't have your opponent damaged enough they will move out of the way if they're just standing there. So that is the running while B. The next rope maneuver we're going to do is the counter and what that means is your opponent has been flung to the ropes and you're waiting standing still to do a move when they come back towards you. So we're going to go into the move list again to see what moves Ricochet has. And you can see listed next to counter he does have three maneuvers small medium and big but again any move can be assigned to the button and he has a cyclone whip which is a deep arm drag takedown original frankensteiner and spine buster so i will show you how to do those maneuvers now first thing you'll want to do is irish whip your opponent to the rope sometimes you can get countered well if alistair black would cooperate there we go and that is with the X. Again, there is a timing and spacing to all of these maneuvers, so you have to be willing to experiment with different moves and different timings because they're not all the same. You do have to take that into account when you pick a character or make a character and assign these maneuvers. The next type of maneuvers we're going to uh, deal with when it comes to rope maneuvers is when your opponent is outside of the ring and generally 
to do these moves, you have to get your opponent outside of the ring and they have to be in a dizzy state because they're not going to stand around waiting for you to do these maneuvers. The first type of maneuver we're going to do is just your standard slingshot maneuver. And for the slingshot maneuver, you have to be lined up with your opponent and press towards your opponent and then the B button. And that will initiate the slingshot maneuver. These maneuvers are different because you can assign different types of maneuvers also they have different timings so you have to be aware of that as well and they also cover different distances so your opponent has to be relatively close to guarantee the move connects if their opponent is further away the further chances you have of the move connecting uh, the next move we're going to do as it pertains to the opponent being outside is you're running towards the opponent and slingshot yourself over the rope. So we're going to start that by initiating a run and then as we're on the way back we're going to hold down the B button and that will initiate the move. Let's do that one more, one more time. So what we're going to do is position Alistair Black and we're gonna run with Ricochet hold down the B button on the way back and that is how you initiate that move another type of maneuver you can do is your slingshot into the ring maneuver and again your opponent typically has to be dizzy for this and to do that uh, there are two ways you can in initiate this type of maneuver both ways you do have to be on the ring apron in order to do it from the inside you just walk towards the ropes and you press A and that will put you on the apron if you're already outside of the ring you simply walk towards the ring and you hit A and that will make you climb up onto the apron instead of the apron and lastly this is a question I've been getting got asked quite a bit is how you get into the ring you just simply walk towards the ring and press X if you're outside of the ring and walk towards the outside and press X if you're inside of the ring. So back to the slingshot maneuver, you have to be on the apron for this and relatively in a kind of a line with your opponent because if you're way over here or if you're way over here and not in the line sight of your opponent, you won't do the move. So to do this move, you hold towards your opponent on the control pad and press B and they'll do the slingshot maneuver. In order to do this maneuver two things have to be met. First thing is obviously a move has to be assigned to that situation and secondly the character that you're using has to have the ability to do slingshot maneuvers. So next we're going to talk about off the top rope moves and moves from the top rope fall into two categories uh, your opponent has to be down on the mat or your opponent is standing and to see what kind of moves your opponent has while off the top rope you're gonna go into the move list and they're called post jump onto post type moves and you can see here Ricochet has four such moves one of them is assigned as his finisher which is the 630 senton and he has the while the opponent is on the mat moves and while the opponent is standing and to determine what type of move these are you just have to go into the move edit list when you're creating a wrestler and see the preview of the move to determine if it's done while the opponent is on the mat or while the opponent is standing so first we're gonna do the Phoenix Splash and that's just simply getting onto the rope which is done by going towards the corner and pressing X and then you press X and the move doesn't matter if the opponent is facing up or down the only difference it makes is if the move pins uh, if the opponent is face down the move obviously won't pin so the opponent has to be face up in order for the move to pin So we're going to move him back to the corner, jump onto the rope, and then press 
A for the next move, which is the 6.30 centon. You do have to be somewhat quick about it, or else the opponent will get up. And the next move we're going to do is his B maneuver off the top rope, which is, I believe, the shooting star press. And finally, he does have one move assigned while standing, and that is the du diving double knee drop, which is the Meteora. And you press X and A to do that move with the ricochet. And again, it's all dependent on which move is assigned to this situation. You can have four moves while the opponent is on the mat. You can have four moves while the opponent is standing. It's entirely up to you when you create a wrestler. But when you're dealing with someone else's edits, you do want to look into the move list to see what moves are assigned to that character. And for any moves that require an opponent to be standing, uh, they do have an added caveat in that they can be done to an opponent who is outside of the ring. Typically, you want your opponent to be dazed while doing this because, again, they won't stand around waiting for you to hit them with a move. And to do that, all you do is climb the top rope and do the, your top rope while standing move and they'll do that to an opponent on the outside it does a lot more damage than it would do if the opponent was standing on the inside the next type of maneuver we're going to discuss is your rebound maneuvers and your rebound maneuvers are maneuvers your character does while uh, you are running toward the post and they happen in two situations while the opponent is standing and while the opponent is uh, on the mat the first one we'll discuss is while the opponent is standing they do have to be in the general area of where the ring post is they can't be too far away and they have to be dazed there are three conditions that have to be met in order for your character to pull off this these two types of moves First condition is, one, your character has to have those types of moves assigned. Two, your character has to have the ability to run on, like run up to the ropes and jump on the ropes. And three, your character has to have the ability to do rebound moves. And those can be found within the character creation edit. So first move we're going to do is the rebound move while standing. And you have to run to the post and to do that you just initiate a run with the Y button and while you're running to the post you want to hold on to the A button because that will initiate your rebounding while standing move Whoa, wrong button sorry that would be the X button and again you want to run to the corner while holding X and he'll initiate his rebound while standing move. The next move we want to talk about is your rebounding while your opponent is on the mat move. And again, you want to have your opponent down and near the corner while you're doing this. And then you run and hold the X button. Oh, sorry, hold the A button. Run to the corner, hold the A button, and they will initiate their rebound while the opponent is down move. And typically, you want your opponent to have taken a lot of damage before you attempt to try these maneuvers. With the standing maneuver, you'll want to have your opponent in a day state because, again, they're not just going to stand around waiting for you to do these types of maneuvers. The next type of maneuver we're going to talk about is your corner to center move and what a corner to center move is is that your oppo opponent has been knocked down and they're in a day state and you go to either the left or right corner and you will initiate a corner to center move uh, edits that have been made of Shinsuke Nakamura usually have the Kinshasa you have edits of uh, Finn Balor, who has the shotgun drop kick or the John Woo. So those are your corner, typical corner to center type of moves. 
and two conditions have to be met in order for you to do this type of move first condition is obviously your character has to have a move assigned to that situation so let's go into the move set list and see if ricochet does have a move assigned to that situation and you'll see it here corner to center attack which is done with the big attack button and he has a shining wizard so the second situation is your opponent has to be in a day state and they have to be close to the center of the ring they can't be close to the like corner itself because your character has to have enough run up in order to perform the move so let's get Alistair Black into a day state using a heavy attack maneuver obviously these can only be done after your opponent has been worn down enough so get your opponent into a day state move and for this I'm using a delayed vertical suplex and you want to go over and hold circle well B and he'll do it you hold back and B while you're in the corner and it will initiate the startup to the corner to center move so let's do that again let's get Alistair Black back onto the center line That is how you do your corner two sensor moves. Uh, the final move we're going to talk about here is your corner grappling moves. Well, we have two uh, moves we do have to talk about, two situations rather. The, fir the first situation is while your opponent is grap like a uh, Irish whipped into the corner and you're running attack into the corner. In order to do that, your opponent has to be on the central line or along the ropes so they do hit the turnbuckle so let's Irish whip the opponent into the turnbuckle and when you do your corner attack you're gonna run towards the corner by initiating a run and then hold the B button to initiate that corner attack move and sometimes your opponent can counter by moving out of the way or if their statistic is high enough they'll initiate a flip off of the road to avoid that maneuver and let's do that one more time uh, we're gonna Irish whip our opponent into the corner and then follow up well Alistair likes to flip with the corner attack by holding the B button after you initiate the run towards the corner. The next type of move and final situation we're gonna be dealing with is your corner grapple moves. And you do have three of these types of maneuvers. They are different for every character. So let's go into our move list and see what corner grapples uh, are assigned to Ricochet. And we see here he has a run up cutter mountain knuckle arrow and tornado DDT so he does have access to all three of his corner grapple moves so to do those moves you have to Irish whip your opponent into the corner and just grapple the timing you do have to get the timing correct in this So that's your up and B grapple. That's your left and right B grapple. And that's your down and B corner grapple. Again, each move and character is going to have a different timing on how these moves are done some maneuvers require double presses of the B button after you've initiated the grapple because uh, they do have multiple setups like a uh, corner hurricane Rana or corner uh, super brain buster or corner superplex so 
The last thing we're going to talk about is throwing your opponent out of the ring. And there are two ways to do this. The first way is both characters have to be near the rope. And you initiate a grapple and you press the Y button to throw your opponent towards the rope and the direction of the rope and that will throw them out of the ring. But this only throws them through the middle rope as you can see so this is not good for battle royal purposes. Because as everyone knows Battle Royals are over the top elimination, so you have to be able to throw your opponent all over the top of the rope, correct? And there is a way to do that. And to do that, you initiate the grapple and you press the R1 and Y button at the same time. And that will throw your opponent over the rope. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson number five on how to do your off the rope maneuvers. This is David from the free play mode, hoping you have a good day and hoping you look forward to lesson number six. Peace folks, I'm out.